A couple of months ago I made a video showing you how I made this mosaic heart and I had quite a few people ask me how did I create the actual wire flowers and also what type of wire did I use. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to make a video to show you how I created those flowers. So I'll put this aside and this is the wire that I used. It's armature wire and this one here is probably around 5, five mil, maybe a bit more. And this is quite easy to manipulate, but it does come in different thicknesses. We also have this one here, which is also armature wire, and it's quite thick. Now on the packaging it says it's quarter of an inch, and it is quite easy to manipulate, but if you're making something small, that will make it harder to manipulate because it is so thick, so keep that in mind. Now it also comes in uh, a thinner wire as well, which is going to be very easy to manipulate because this is uh, this one's thinner than this one here. Now there are other wires also available. For instance, this one's here. This one here is a coated copper wire, and these come in different colours. I've got two here. Uh, this one is slightly thicker than this one, but both are still uh, very easy to bend and manipulate. Now the only thing you'd have to be careful of when buying any wire that's coated is how well it grouts if you're choosing to grout the piece. And that would be something you would need to have a look at because I'm not really quite sure how well this will grout. I did buy these uh, a number of years ago intending to use them, but I haven't gotten around to it. But definitely these ones work really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made those flowers. Now first don't forget your safety glasses. Also you're going to need a good pair of sharp cutters. Now aluminium is quite soft so that's not really going to be an issue. Now what I generally do is just roll it out and I kind of like think about the size I'm going to be doing. So I kind of like put a bend in it like that and then I just use my fingers and manipulate it to the style that I'm actually after and also the size. Now when you're doing this you just need to think about where the join is because this is going to be important. What you don't want to do is have a join on the curved part. If you do it's not really a major issue but it just means you may need another tool to hold on to that to be able to bend it. Whereas if you do it kind of like on a straight edge, uh, then that will just make it easy and you can just use your, your hands. And all I'm going to do is just go like that and manipulate that round there like that. And how many bends you put in is totally up to you. Whether you go like that, it's probably a bit too much for me in that bend, so it's just playing around with it. And it's actually, it's actually quite fun. I, I actually don't mind doing this. Yeah, so we'll cut that off there and then we can bend this around to the shape we want and you can either make that small or larger however you want, keeping in mind that bend and we can actually probably bend that up like that. And you can stretch it out, whatever you want to do, you can squash it in. But just remember that bend, and I'm just going to cut that off there and just bring that in a bit further. And then once we've got it, the shape of the flower that we want, it's going to be, because we've been bending it, uh, it's going to be uh, quite uneven, it's not going to be flat. So all I did was I just pushed down in certain areas where it's raised and just push it down. Because it is aluminium, it's very easy to work with. And then what you end up with is a very flat piece. And then you can fill that up with millefiori or whatever you're going to be using, whether it's smalty or whatever you want to use. But having this particular join here makes it easier than having it up here. And if you have too much wire, you can just cut it off. And if you don't have enough, uh, you know, if you haven't uh, cut off enough, then of course you can keep it for another day or, or keep some uh, flowers in stock. But that's why I generally when I'm using uh, any of this type of wire, I don't cut the wire off until I'm actually finished and happy with the design. 
Now, as far as the curved goes, all I did was just cut off a straight piece like that and then just got my fingers. Well, here's, here's one here. And I just got my fingers and this one's been made into a flower, which makes it a bit more difficult, but we'll have a go. And all I did was I just sli slowly just bent it to the, the curve that I'm actually after. Of course, when you do it, you'll be using a new piece. You won't be using one that's already been bent. And that's really all I did. And then I, again, cut it to the size and then I could, I could then attach it like that, just on the bottom there. Again, pushing down because you want to get it flat so it has more surface area to grab hold onto in the mosaic. And there you go, that's about all I did. And then you just cut that off to where you want. So anyway, I hope that's helped you. Uh, they are very easy to make and they are quite a lot of fun. The thing is, you just have to get hold of the uh, armature wire and uh, that's available probably at quite a few online stores. You can always check out uh, Amazon. They, I know that they sell it, uh, but definitely have a look around because they are fun to do. So anyway, I hope you've taken something away from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comments section and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.